We're gonna chat about my kit today. Stick around, roll the intro. ago, 10, 15, probably about 15 videos ago, uh, very badly I done a video on what's in my bag, what kit I use and what it costs. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a bit of a beginner's, well, I'm a beginner. Well, that was bad. Um, videos aren't much better, but at least the quality is a lot better. Anyway, let's go through some stuff. So, starting with... Well, I first started with a 350D, actually, a Canon 350D uh, that my mum gave me, an 8 megapixel, and it done my job. It got me the bug of going out and changing some lenses and trying some new stuff, so that was good fun. Uh, but I soon upgraded to a 500D, which is this little bad boy, little 3 inch LCD screen on the back, if it's even that, probably 2.5 inch. Um, I upgraded to that, and Again, 16 megapixel, 15.1, something like that. Pretty good camera, got some good shots of it, various videos before. You'll see most of the work was done with this. Um, but this didn't film. So I then went on and bought the Canon 80D, which is what I film on now. Um, and I take photos with now, because it's a bloody good camera. So this came with this 18 to 55, 3.5 um, lens. It's a kit lens, okay? Pretty standard stuff, comes with most cameras. This is actually the oldest one they make, I believe. Um, <laughs> that's certainly got autofocus, but it hasn't got any image stabilization or anything like that. But it's it's not bad, it served its purpose. So it's 50 quid for the Canon 500. Kit lens came free from my mum's old 350D. I then bought a Speedlight, um, looks like these. You can do various things with them, like make them flash. And that's about as much as I've figured out how to do with it. Um, I don't use it very often to be totally honest, um, but it's pretty cool, like I say, it flashes, it does stuff, there's various settings you can do, you can flick it, change where it goes, blah blah blah, pretty uh, pretty basic, and that was, I think, about 20 quid off eBay or Amazon, I'm not sure, one of them, but it's just a cheap power extra speed light, does the job, and then I got a little soft box, Again, about four quid that was, little soft box. Goes over the front, softens your flash. Uh, spreads it out a bit more, softens it. It's just a bit more of a, uh, bit more of a better gimmick. There we go. Then I've got some filters. Um, sorry if this gets boring, I've not got that much stuff, you'll be pleased to know. Various ND filters. They screw on the ends of various filters. These are only a 58 mil that they screw onto, so they only work on one of my lenses, I believe, which is this one. Um, but I've got various uh, ND2, 4, 8 and a variable. Now a variable is a pretty cool thing, I don't know how well we'll be able to see on this, but it's got the various little markers on the side here, and you can turn it so it goes from, again I'm going to try and do it, you should be able to see my face will go dark, non-existent, there you go, and then you keep turning it, and it comes back. So you can use that to create depth of field, you can slow down waterfalls, um, stuff like that. So ND filters, worth buying. Again, whole kit I think was possibly 18 quid, came in a little bag and a cleaning cloth. 18 quid, something like that. Uh, lens tubes, done a video on them, go and check it. Link's nowhere, still can't figure this link business out. I had a look, apparently you need a thousand um, views or something before you can put a link on, but that can't be right. But anyway, I had a look, I can't figure it out, but they're in my channel somewhere. Uh, lens tubes, won't go all about these, three different sizes, go on the ends of your lenses, and basically they're good for macro photography. They get your lens closer to your subject, job done. Next up, one of my favourite lenses, although I didn't buy the Canon. Canon lens, about 80 quid, 100 quid, second hand, 50 quid. These brand new, young, 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 can't say the damn word, won't focus on it, young now. Okay, young, young new. 50 quid, no sorry, 35 quid, 50 mil prime. 
So it's got a nice little bit of glass inside, nice big wide aperture on the back. Goes down to 1.8, which is pretty damn wide. Uh, 1.2, I think, maybe one of the widest you can get. And you'll pay a lot more than 35 quid for that. Then I got the uh, 55 to 200 Canon. Um, it's a zoom lens, does exactly what it says. It's the ultrasonic speed uh, USM. So it's got an ultrasonic motor. It's Autofocus is extremely quick. You can literally be pointing in there, move to there, and, it's, whoop, and it's, 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 it's instant. It is a damn fast lens. So if you're out shooting the birds and bits and pieces, it's quick. Um, yes. Then my final lens is the bazooka of lenses. My big old uh, 300 macro Tamron thingy majigs. But I don't bother using it anymore, really. It only works in manual mode, and I have to tape up the sensors on the back here because the aperture cable is split, so it just trips the sensor on the computer, on the um, camera, and tells me, no, fuck off, you're not using me. So, that's a bit annoying. Um, again, it was only 70 quid. Oh, and this one, sorry, the 200 mil was 80 quid, I think. So, as a budget, bar my camera, which was 550, second hand, as good as new. MBP, I believe they're called MPB, one of them. Um, second hand stuff, excellent, can't fault them. Speedy delivery, all of the usual stuff. So uh, as a whole here, you're probably looking at sort of like, not including the 800D, uh, 80D, sorry. You're probably looking at 300 quid, something like that, to get you out with most of the lenses you want and a decent camera. Now, obviously there is one more lens and that's what I'm filming on, which is my favorite. It's good for my B-roll, which I'm learning okay very early stages but i'm practicing on the video side of it other than vlogging i'm trying to make a real small little bit of b-roll um wide angle lens 10 to a 15 10 to 18 i'm trying to look at it now 10 to 18 i should really rehearse all this stuff before i do the videos but i don't an idea pops in my head and i'm like i'm gonna go sit in the studio and make it and we'll see how it comes out nine times out of ten i blag my way for it um but that's a damn good lens that was 200 180 in the sale so uh, that's my most expensive lens and my second most expensive bit of kit, but it's well worth it. So a couple of gimmicks left. Prism. Got bought this for my birthday. Never used one, never seen one. Uh, it probably won't work on film, but the idea is you hold it up towards uh, the top of your camera sort of thing and, and it creates mirror and stuff. It works really well with the, uh, with the prime lens because you can get such a high aperture that you can really blow out backgrounds and foregrounds and stuff like that. So that works well with that. Don't know what it costs, but I imagine it wasn't that expensive. Um, but anyway, fancy little bit of kit. And then one of my favourites, as you'll all know, is my lens ball. Got videos on this. If you don't own one, go and buy one. They do different sizes, because this one weighs a ton. Um, love it. And spare batteries. Got a couple of spare batteries. Um, these are... New, why has why everyone got stupid names? New mower. New mower. New mower. Like a bloody garden centre or something. Anyway, uh, they were £18 for two with a charger that both slot in. Um, a Canon one, 70 quid. 70 quid for a Canon battery. 18 quid for two aftermarket. And I use them and they work. They probably don't work as long, but bloody hell, they last long enough. So that is my kit. Obviously, there's a bag and a tripod and a mic. It's a new mic, so hopefully, it sounds working all right because um, previously I haven't had a mic, I've just had to shout. So we'll see how it comes out. But all the usual stuff, this is just a quick one, probably not ended up that quick, but I just wanna go through what I've got, what sort of budget we're looking at, and go out. It's more of a beginner's channel, I'm not a professional, um, I'm not a photographer, I just like it. So if you're a beginner and you wanna look at some of this stuff, those are the ones I recommend. These are the two that I would strongly recommend. If you're just into taking video and not, uh, sorry, photos and not vlogging, 50 mil prime, 200 mil zoom. They are the two that will get you everything you need, unless you want to start shooting constellations with 600 mils and God knows what. Um, the tubes are good for macro. It's all there. It's all there. And it's all at a decent price. Second hand. Stick with it. So thanks very much, guys. Please leave a like and a uh, subscription and all the usual rubbish. And I will catch you on the next video. Peace out.